I just learned something just now about you that I did not know. This, that's probably the most terrifying introduction to right. something said on television that anyone can say. Well, what's I, that? I wish it was more uh, <laughs> controversial, but your first acting job was on Alan McBeal. That is, uh, that is true. Was that when, Al when, when my wife was on? I believe it was. Yeah, do you remember meeting Portia? Uh, I think I met, we met in passing. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I well, played, oh man, that hair. <laughs> I think Rob Lowe said once that, that being, being a successful actor is, is nothing more than watching yourself have a series of bad haircuts. Right, well, um, in the 80s especially. I didn't have a name on that show. My character didn't have a name, but I, I was cast as a handsome guy at bar. Wow. Well, that's flattering. I guess. That you're a handsome guy at yeah. bar. That's so, did you have a speaking part? I certainly did not. No. No. I, you, was, I was to stand there and be looked at. Handsome guy. Oh, gorgeous guy. Gorgeous guy. You're Sorry. Being, you're, I, I, oh, was, you're being, I was downplaying. Yeah, you're being humble. It's gorgeous guy at bar. <laughs> gorgeous guy at bar. G-G-A-B. Yep. And now you're a gorgeous guy sitting uh, here on a talk show with a big career. Well, yeah. that's a... Uh, Every, everything starts with uh, one step, and that was the first one. <laughs> that was a good first step. What did you do after that? Do you remember? Uh, after I left set? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You went home. Waited for two weeks to get my paycheck for uh -huh. no dollars. Right. And, uh, and uh, no, I, I, you know, I did took you get it in another stride. Job? I did. I got, eventually got a job, and I eventually got to talk in front of a camera, and mm -hmm. then eventually got to uh, talk more and in, 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 in repeated episodes. So it was, again, it was moving from... St. Louis to LA is is jumping into a very deep, very scary pool. Yes. Uh, and it's and it's difficult, but it's it's exciting. And yeah, it's, it is. When you're that age, it's 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 fun. But it's so weird when you think back on like auditioning, and it really was it's how many worst. gorgeous guys showed up to be gorgeous guy at the bar. I, I was literally picked out of a line of people. Yeah. Where the guy was walking down the line and was like, eh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, I certainly feel special. Yes. <laughs> no talent whatsoever. No, just, ah, you. Nothing there at all other than yeah. be seventh. Uh huh. <laughs> you were seventh in line. Yep. No, but it really is when you think back about all those auditions that you do and that you're just sitting in a room with people that look, that look similar to you. Kind of like you. Yeah. And have way more credits. All right. <laughs> right. Uh, and but, way more sort of something. Yeah. Or, or not. Or, or that's the thing, that's the weirdest thing about acting is you can do everything right and still not get the job. Yep. You can do everything, I did the best I could, I really tried, I really like put all my effort into it and they were like, no thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I know, That's I think about people on Broadway that sing and dance and act and do all these things and, and then you have somebody like, you know, just that gets lucky and gets on a TV show that Thank runs you. forever, you know? Thank you very like, much. Yeah, <laughs> and then we have I will take that as a somebody compliment. like you. That's somebody what, like yeah, you. That's not what dance. I meant, you know what I mean. Um, what are you doing uh, this summer? Do you uh, have vacation plans? I have been working so, uh, like, this whole first half of the year, well, it's, what is it? It's first half of the year, I was working kind of nonstop. And so I finally, like, the last couple of weeks was like, okay, we need to kind of take a break. So I'm going to go, my friend suggested a very adventurous idea that I was a little skeptical about, but eventually was like, all right, let's do it. We're going whitewater rafting, which I've never done. And I hope I survive. <laughs> Where? Uh, somewhere in Oregon, uh -huh. where they have steep rivers and white water. Uh -huh. You've never done it before? No. How many people in the boat? I don't know. You Me, know. my friend, and I'm uh, hoping a guide. A guide, yes. <laughs> or, or more people, because really I don't want to be the only person battling. Yeah. I think that sounds like a terrible idea. No, it's really dangerous. Well, it can be, but it's fun, and it's exhilarating, and, it, and you're outdoors, and I've never been to Oregon, and it, like, it right. seems like a, a fun thing to do, which is... Usually, again, what people say until they get a major injury. Right. But now, uh, will you rehearse the, the raft? <laughs> I don't think we have rafting rehearsals. No, no. Uh, no, we're kind of going in uh, You're cold. You're just going to get we're in a raft and, in and, and go and down a river. I'm sure there will be sort of a tutorial of uh -huh. sorts where they're like, if this happens, maybe do this. Right. And I'm really hoping there's a life jacket yeah. involved. Yeah. But, uh, but other than that, no, I think it's just kind of paddle and, and don't fall out. And then... Uh, well, you don't have to paddle because it's rapids. You just go down. You yeah, have to steer. I think that stabilizes you, have, yeah, you, you in some way. Yeah. Um, and are you gonna like camp? Are you in a tent? There's a whole yeah. It's like a three-day deal. We're gonna we're doing it up. There's a camping element. Uh, there's I believe there's a mountain biking element. I don't know why this does not sound like a vacation. No. Which is what it was meant to sound like. This sounds like work. Where do the bikes come from? You're gonna bring them on the raft? I think other people are in charge of those. Okay. Yeah. I think um, those come on a van. Have you ever camped before? Yes. Okay, so you have been camping. Yes. And you like that. I like it, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I grew up in Missouri, like that was kind of a thing. It was, first of all, it's 
relatively free. Mm -hmm. You just need to find someone with a tent and some matches. Mm -hmm. uh, not to light the tent on fire. No, to hopefully no. start a fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I spend a lot of time outdoors, and, yeah. and I really like it. It's part of why I love moving to LA, because being outside is such a nice yeah. part of living here. Yeah. Well, that sounds fun. When are you doing this? And soon? Or? Uh, soon, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Keep your eyes and ears peeled toward the news. And yeah. <laughs> see if anything horrible happens. See if anything happens to you. Um, and you also were, uh, you taught preschool for a short time. This is when I was in college, uh, the, I, I had a very weird kind of existence in college because most, most of my friends were like waiters or bartenders or stuff, but I, I was in uh, the, theater, the theater program, so I had rehearsals every night. So I couldn't work at night, and I had class during the day, so I had a weird kind of middle of the day. Uh, opening t for which to work, mm -hmm. and uh, and I grew up with a single mom, and I was always in daycare, after school programs, all that kind of stuff, and and there were never any guys. It was a pretty much female dominated profession, and so I went to um, the woman who ran uh, this this place. It was called Kids Depot. <laughs> it had a little red train out in front of it in Columbia, Missouri. And I told her that, and I said, you know, it's, 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 it's nice to have, to have a guy around. It might be nice for your kids. And I had long hair, and I was an acting student, and she was like, this is going to be a terrible decision, but I'm going to hire you. And I ended up working there for three years. As a preschool teacher? As a, as a daycare teacher, basically. Wow. So I was like, I was essentially like a human jungle gym, basically. Like, <laughs> they, because uh, I'm a giant to right. a, you know, five-year-old. Sure, you're a giant to me. <laughs> Uh, and, and they and you know then I had to like do art projects and cooking stuff and that's, that's it, sweet. It was, it was really fun and it was it was also kind of like being around kids is is so energizing. Yeah. So like coming from or class draining. Your, or one draining of the, one or, of the two. Yeah. But I found it energizing. I found a lot of things energizing when I was in my twenties that I now find completely <laughs> draining. Um, but the the idea was that you know you're getting as much as you're giving out and it and and coming from somebody like me who had such a history with with being in programs like this yeah. it was like it felt it felt fun to kind of give back in some That's way. so sweet. I yeah. love that you did that. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, God. God.